So a lot of you have been in the fragrance community for a while. Have you heard the term scent memory? Well, again, it's moderator month and I'm letting my moderators choose all of my topics. And so today, Newt's topic that he chose was he wanted me to name a bunch of fragrances that are tied to specific fun scent memories in my past. And so today we're gonna be in, I'm gonna be using a few pictures for some of the older fragrances that are discontinued. But we're going to be talking about some fragrances that as soon as I smell them, it immediately makes me think of specific memories, joyful, sad, whatever memories in my past. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. So without further ado, let's get it. What's good, my great smelling dudes? Okay, we're going to get straight into this video again. Term is scent memory. Like whenever you smell a fragrance and you're thinking to yourself, what does that remind me of? Or that reminds me of that exact moment. Well, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Before we do, make sure that if you haven't already, you subscribe if you like my content. Also, put your brother on the algorithm, hit that like button, comment below, and let me know what some fragrances that are tied to a specific happy, sad, what a fun scent memory that you have in your past. I, again, a lot of these fragrances that I have are well discontinued, um, but I did bring out like five or six that I do have specific scent memories for just so I could have some props for the video. But again, shout out to Newt for coming out with a, this idea. He gave me some tough lists and tough topics that I literally had to sit here and study and think. Like, what am I going to be doing for this video? But with that said... Last, last week with Moe's, his, I was able to get the bottles out within five seconds of seeing what his topics were. Anyway, let's start out with number one. So I'm going to actually do my pictures first. So when I was growing up, there was specific fragrances that really tie to specific time periods in my life. The one that I automatically think this was my middle school childhood and i can remember specifically this fragrance was only out for about a year and a half i can specifically remember wearing this to my brother ryan's hockey game he was already in high school they were in like the championship and i remember there was older girls that were like super hot telling me how great i smelled and so i can remember that and now to this day, I still have a bottle of that and it's in a lockbox already because I have a bunch of stuff and it's in my uh, storage, but it's completely sealed. In some places it goes for like a thousand bucks um, just because it's so long discontinued, but it is Nautica Competition, the blue bottle. So a lot of people say, yeah, it was not very good. That was the yellow one the yellow one so they had nautica competition in a blue bottle again i'll put the picture up there it has this cap that's like this um and it was blue and red with a navy blue nautica that went up the side and i i don't remember much about what it smells like outside of that it was like kind of fruity aromatic um really good fragrance that a lot of people back then i don't know nowadays it might smell like crap but um Back then, I remember people were saying how great I smelled. So I had my mom bought me two more bottles and one of them I still have to this day, but I wore that. It brings back the scent memory of this hot blonde girl telling me that was a 13, 12 year old kid at a hockey game that I smelled great. And I'm just like, she wants me. Not thinking that she's like eight years older than me, but yeah, um, that was not a competition. And then it was discontinued at like, a year later and they re-released it as a yellow bottle that really really sucked and speaking of bottles that were great during my childhood and they re-released it and it sucked well i can remember this is a sad memory but every day when i was a freshman my brother would drive me his one friend zach and me uh, me and his one friend zach to school and his freaking purple grand am that had like two subwoofers in it but every time zach got in the car he always smelled really good and i didn't know what it was for a while until i found out that it was candies um 
and not the candies that's out nowadays that sucks and it's at like Macy's backstage for like three dollars and it's terrible. It's not about that little one. It was about this big with it was like half blue, half green. <clears throat> well, Zach wore that every time. And it, it wasn't until like three days before what happened happened that I actually asked him in the car, what are you wearing? And he said candies. And then I remember the next two days I would talk to him like about how he was wearing candies and how my mom just bought me a bottle of candies because of him. And then that day he actually got out of our car and went into his girlfriend car, girlfriend's car and they ditched out of school, went to ride quads and they were riding and a tree started to fall and he threw his girlfriend off the quad to save her life and he got rolled over by the quad and passed away. But you would think that's probably like a negative scent memory. I mean, honestly, it's a really good scent memory. I remember I was going with older kids to school. It was like, I felt like top of the world. I was in a car that had subwoofers that I thought was cool back then. And I even remember the song that was playing that morning and it was Ja Rules and Ashanti, I think. And it was every little thing that we do. I mean, it's just the scent memories. I, I that candies is a hundred percent linked to that scent memory, which is absolutely crazy um to think but anyway this is a weird scent memory the scent memory is about me and when kohl's first opened i remember going into it and seeing that they had fragrances out and back then that wasn't the thing outside of macy's like stores didn't have fragrances that out that you could smell and so it was very interesting for me but this fragrance while i this is probably from like 2005 but it was the first fragrance that I smelled. And then it was also where I learned about Chrome because that was when Chrome first came out. And this is Lacoste Essential. Um, I honestly don't remember what it smells like because I just sprayed it on and it's basically pure lavender now. Um, but it's, it was, I can just remember it's fresh, clean, a little bit green, aromatic. Um, it's still a nice fragrance, even if I spray it on now. Um, but with that said, it just reminds me of going to Kohl's with my mom and whenever it first opened and me thinking to my, well, at least in my area, I don't know if there was cools outside of there at that point in time, but I remember it opened it opened up and it just had a huge cologne counter. And I was just like, this is awesome. They also had those little Nautica blues in the packs and stuff like that. And I was just like, this is amazing. But Lacoste essential, anytime I smell it, it always, always reminds me of cools. It's weird to think about that, but um, now a weird one, another weird one. Um, so there was a girlfriend that I had, uh, right before I met my wife. Um, well, not right before, I guess like four years before. Um, with that said, I remember when I first met her and, and so it was right. Yeah. So I had a girlfriend for about four years and then we broke up and then I met my wife. And, but anyway, when, before I met that girl, I remember going to my friend Lauren's house and her friends were there and I ended up meeting that girlfriend. And that night, me and my friend Debo and my friend Adam, we went back to Debo's house or Tom's house. Yeah, Tom's house. And me and Debo both met a girl that night and we were both excited. So we were dancing to Michael Jackson and like, the woo and stuff. I was a kid and I was just happy that I found a girlfriend or whatever at that point in time. And all I can remember is the entire basement reeked of this because my friend Tommy, his house always smelled like Tommy. It always smelled like Tommy Hilfiger. He, that's why I never wore Tommy Hilfiger. And that's why I didn't have a Tommy Hilfiger bottle until like last year is because Tommy always smelled like Tommy. And so I always had to find something else because Tommy smelled like Tommy. His basement always reeked because he would spray it. And then because Tommy was like, always wanted somebody to notice him, he was always spraying Tommy on. And so yeah, that reminds me of dancing to Michael Jackson. 
beat it and thriller in the basement with my friend Debo because we were excited that we met girls that night and Tommy was just over in the corner spraying Tommy and it just reminds me of that super weird I don't care it is what it is there's another one I'm going to put a picture up this reminds me of one of the first fragrances I ever smelled and we used to make fun of my dad for it because there's pheromones in it it was like the first pheromone fragrance it's called realm R-E-A-L-M, and I think it's still available today, but my dad used to say, hey guys, you should spray some of this on if you're going out with the ladies because uh, it has pheromones in it and they pick up on that and they're attracted to it. <laughs> my friend Adam, just to this day, if he saw this video, he would call me cracking up because my dad was um, just super creepy sometimes. And that was, uh, one of the times for sure because realm and every time i hear the name realm i think of my dad being super creepy when i was like 13 but anyway um i could also went with brute dracar noir i know a lot of people like dracar noir i never did because it was one of my dad's fragrances no i never liked it uh with that said this one reminds me of my really young childhood. It was the first fragrance that I ever personally owned. And it still smells good to this day. I mean, it's clean. It's fresh. It's out of the shower. It's gym scent. Cool water. I mean, it's cool water. It still smells the exact damn same. Davidoff cool water. To me, it just legit smells like what if you were back in the day, you're like, cool, man. It really smells like cool water. Like that, that was pretty much what I always thought. Like, that's a perfect name for it, man. Because it's like cool water that you can just spray on yourself. And you can be cool when you're wearing it. Well, cool water. It just reminds me of pretty much my birthday parties from like age 7 to like 14. Uh, yeah, cool water. Uh, Michael, no, no, Michael. Um, Kenneth Cool Reaction. Um, yep. Usher. Those fragrances, that was like first like five fragrances that I had in my life. I think I had that original Brute too because my dad bought it for me. But anyway, there's one fragrance that I didn't wear very long. Um, I wore it for a few years, but then everybody started to wear it. So it just, as you guys know, I started my channel. I wouldn't even talk about these fragrances just because the scent memory just takes me back to every single person in the world wearing it or Tommy. And this is Aqua de Show. Look how old my bottle is. It's from 2006. 2006. Yep. 2006. Aqua de Show. Um, this fragrance turned into, and I can remember, it was like 2007, 2008. Um, after wearing it for a few years, it turned into the scent that sat in my bathroom that my brother would spray after he took a shit. Um, just because I, I put it in there for him and I was like, dude, you got some stanky ash. <laughs> and so he started spraying my Aqua de Joe and obviously now we're still here and have the same bottle. So it's yeah, yeah, Aqua de Joe, scent memory, pretty much everybody has a scent memory of Aqua de Joe from like 99 to like 2005. And speaking of Aqua de Joe, let's put another picture up there. Another scent memory that reminds me of when I used to get on the B83 bus to go out to Century 3 Mall to meet a girlfriend that I had that was like a few townships away and I was super young so I couldn't drive or anything. Her name was Katie, and she was nuts. She, when I broke up with her, she bit me on my arm. Um, but I remember whenever I used to be, uh, whenever she bit me on the arm, I remember what fragrance I was wearing. I don't understand why I remember it. But her mom told, oh, that's why. Her mom told me that I smelled good. It was Armani Mania. And I still like that stuff to this day. I have a decan of it somewhere. I was trying to find it before this video, but I don't know where it is. But Armani Mania was actually my favorite Armani probably of all time. Um, at least back then. I don't know if it still would be, but I really, really, really like that stuff. And yeah, it reminds, anytime I smell that, anytime I smelled that up until like 2018, it reminds me 
of taking the bus out to Century 3 Mall or the day that she bit me on my arm when I was trying to leave her house and to try to keep me inside the house, she was like, she bit my arm. And I was like, dude, you're freaking crazy. But I still have a scar on my arm. I still have a scar. It's right there. You guys probably can't see it, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I think this is my last scent memory, two scent memories. So I remember this is the first time that I ever smelled anything exquisite because uh, I was always used to designer fragrances. And so when I smelled this, this is the first niche fragrance. And I remember where I was. I was at Nordstrom's and it was in 2016 and it was Tobacco Vanille. Tobacco Vanille just reminds me. And I was like, holy crap, there's a lot more out there that I did not know. Um, yeah, uh, that was a scent memory. And then also the last scent memory is the one that made me start my big collection. I had 20 fragrances at the time, but when I got these two in, I got them from FadFit, our biz agent. They sent me two decants and my wife bought them for me and it made me start my collection because I love them so much. Why well, I saw YEDT and most are uh, wanted by night. These are the two fragrances that got me to where I'm sitting right now talking to you guys. Um, it was like 2017, 2018, something like that. It was the year after this came out. I think it was 2017, 2017, whenever this came out. And this had just been released, might have been 2018, um, but they were just released and they sent us decants of it. I absolutely loved it and started my collection from there. I, and again, I had fragrances already in my collection, but nothing compared to what I have now. So yeah, those are tied to scent memories for sure. I hope this was enjoyable to you guys and it wasn't too long. My wife called me twice during the video, so there might have been a few cutoffs. But again, uh, thank you guys for tuning in and let me know some scent memories of yours. I'll be back with another one. Peace out.